Airflow is fundamentally a workflow orchestrator, right? So you have these things called workflows or DAGs. You have a bunch of different steps. Airflow runs each step. Those steps can do whatever whatever you want them to do. Uh, and then it'll like restart your pipeline if it breaks, right? Problem with that uh, is that there is an impedance mismatch between that way of looking at the world and the data team's way of looking at the world, right? Mm -hmm. So if you are a data team, your customers don't complain to you about a broken pipeline. They say, my report is missing the last week of data. What's up with that? And so you start with a dashboard, which is an asset that has some tables and a data warehouse that power that. Those are assets. And then you work your way upstream until you figure out where your data broke, right? And so with a tool like Airflow or another workflow orchestrator, you basically need to take, there's like this many to many relationship between the workflow steps that manipulate the data and then the data assets that you actually care about. And they're, they're kind of tangled together. And so what you do is you end up bringing in a bunch of additional tooling and manual instrumentation and documentation pages in a wiki and stuff like that to try to assemble something that resembles a coherent platform that you can then go give to stakeholders of varying levels of technical skill to be able to self-serve on the platform. 